This 2003 500 SL has only done 54,000 kilometres since it was brand new. It's an Australian delivered car from new and it's silver with charcoal interior. Being a 500, it's got the 5 litre V8 engine and the 5 speed gearbox. The 500 also came with adjustable suspension and automatic body control. It's got an electric roof as they have had for many years since 1989 in fact and we when this model which is the R230 series came out it was actually the fastest convertible in the world not not in speed the speed of the car but it was the fastest moving electric roof it's absolutely reliable it's got navigation, memory, electric seats, drivers and passenger side. Heated seats, air conditioned seats. And they really are a beautiful car. I've had a couple of SL 500s myself. And the 500 I think really is the, the pick of them. The 350 is good. But you can't beat the sound of the V8 engine. The 600, if anything's, it's too big, and if you look at the performance from zero to 100, there's not a huge difference, and the AMGs are a lot more expensive. You may think the SL500 is, you know, very similar to an E500 or an S500, whatever it might be, but they do have a very different exhaust system, and they sound a lot better than your average 500 Mercedes. It's only a two-seater, but at the click of the button, seat goes forward. You've got a wind deflector as well. Usually these are damaged or ripped. You can see that's very good. And you can even pull this out and plug it in down here, which means you can put a suitcase there if you need to. It's got a stacker, CD stacker, and there's all the books in there. I took photos of the services and history. It's got two keys. Uh, the 500 also came with Xenon headlights. And I think it's incredible value for money, especially with just 54,000 kilometres since new. If you go online, I'm sure you'll see them with two to 300,000 kilometres. We sold one about four years ago, and at the time it was in 03 as well, 03, 04. And at the time that had 178,000 kilometres, and it still drove perfectly. This also has the standard wheels, which I think is a good thing. Some people put, you know, 20 or 22 inch wheels on them, which may look good to some people, uh, but it puts a whole lot of unnecessary strain and pressure on all the suspension components. Because it is adjustable suspension, um, it's not something you'd want to do. The suspension works absolutely perfectly at the moment, and it just had a major service at a Mercedes-Benz specialist in Botany. It's not a car I think is going to last very long with such low kilometres in an Australian delivered car. It is something you should check. If you're looking at other SL 500s, you need to ask the question because if it is an import, it has a detrimental effect, effect on its resale. It can have rust. It can have no service history. And a lot of people don't know. which is unfortunate, but usually, you know, there is a silver plate with the compliance. If it's an import, it's a yellow sticker, basically. We'll have a look under the bonnet. It's very clean under the bonnet. Yeah, you can see here, with the, with these five litre engines, it's very common, I believe it's the 113 engine, it's very common for them to leak here. Um, they're a very reliable engine, you know, from every now and then you can get a small 
you know, weep, oil weep or leak. But you know what? If your biggest problem is some oil weeps or leaks, it's a pretty good car, especially at this age. This car doesn't have any oil leaks at all at the moment. So there's the compliance plate in there. You can see it was complied in 2003. And that's what you need to be looking for. It's got quite a new battery, which is good. Odyssey Extreme, that's a, a great battery. These actually have twin batteries, so it's got one battery in the front, which is sort of more your starter battery, and then it's got a battery in the boot, which is your, for more accessories and things. So it looks like it had possibly some brakes done as well at the last service. But it's a very impressive car. And if you have been looking for a R230, whether it's a 350 or a 500, this car is definitely worth having a look at. The good thing about these SLs also is once, you know, when they get of age, they come right down in value. And as every other SL has done, you know, eventually they do start to go up in value. So really any SL, you know, looking at previous cars, has done very well, even the R129, which came out in 89 and they made right up until 2000. And one, 2002, I think there was still a couple being made. Um, 89 models, they sort of got right down to 20 odd thousand dollars or less. And now for good ones, they're, they're going up and you'd probably have to pay 30, 40 or even $50,000 for a good example. If you have any specific questions about the car, please give us a call. We are the Old Timer Centre. We're located in Marrickville. We're only 15 to 20 minutes from Sydney Airport and Sydney CBD, so you've got easy access to our dealership. And if you are interstate and you've been looking for something like this, you can simply leave a deposit subject to having a look at the car. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this video, and we look forward to hearing from you shortly.